Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, I hope everyone is well and reaping the rewards of Ramadan and enjoying these special moments that we have in this blessed month. Uh, I thought it's very uh, it might serve as a benefit for all of us, inshallah, uh, that you know everyone will be increasing in their uh, consumption of dates during this month. Everyone's breaking their fast with dates. But uh, many are unaware of the, the sunnah of eating dates and how is the sunnah way of eating dates. And yes, there is a sunnah way of eating dates. So here I, ha I just have some edual dates here, which are very small in fact. But um, just to uh, show you how it works. So the Prophet ﷺ, uh, whenever he would have dates, so usually dates, obviously, you, you know, they're in a communal area where everyone's sharing the dates from one plate or one dish. Right, so there is an adab in the way we should uh, eat our dates, and there is a sunnah way of eating the dates. So the Prophet Sallallahu he would first say he took a date. Um, a lot of people uh, think it's sunnah that you you split the date like this before you eat it, right? That you open it up and then you take, right? You split it, and this obviously is done for one reason, and that is because. To check for anything that may be inside the date, like any maggots or anything like that, that you may find inside the date, and uh, but this is not uh, the the sunnah is not to do this. The only time you would do this is if you fear that there's something wrong with the date, then the Prophet Sallallahu would do that. But if there's no fear, then the sunnah is not to do that, right? So you just so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would just you know sometimes do this if there was a fear there's something wrong with the date, but if there is no fear, then there's no need to split the date. You just literally just go straight in with the date. But if there was something wrong and you had a fear, then of course you open up the date and then you take it out and you just simply bismillah, you pop it in and that's it. Right? However, the Prophet them. now, you see, how would he, I'll show you now with uh, this one here, but the sunnah way of eating a date is you take the date, the Prophet is going to take the date, pop it in his mouth, right? and he'll eat the date completely, and the seed will remain. And how he would remove the seed is, he gave his fingers like this. And you put it there, and that's it. Right, and the reason for that and the wisdom behind that is because you because that way your fingers remain clean. Because if you what many people do is they'll eat the date, they'll take a date, they'll eat it, and then they take the seed out with their uh, fingers, and then they go back in that same plate and take more dates. But that's being shared by others, right? And you get uh, spittle on your fingers, and you're just putting that into the plate. And you know, but when you're sharing for us, there's an adab, right, that you should eat with. So the Prophet ﷺ would place the seed like this in his in this bit of his fingers, and he would throw it like that. So the fingers remain clean, and that's the sunnah way of eating dates. So you don't take out the seed with your fingers, rather you take the seed out like this, and he would throw it, and then your fingers are clean to go back in the same plate and take from dates, and that's from. The adab of eating dates and the sunnah way of eating dates, and it's also hygienic and not to cause any kind of you know spittle going on to the dates which are going to be shared by others. So, inshallah, ta'ala, this is how we should be eating our dates. Bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.